This is a strong language warning. Within this video, there will be strong language and a rather passionate expression of values. I do not recommend that you watch this video if you are under the ages of 18 or have a nervous disposition. Do not say that you have not been warned. Hey, it is of course me, the great and glorious, soon to be famous one day, Nick Dutch, back again one more time. Let's have a look at this one particular comment and explain stuff. Black and white. And this comment says, almost too rational, Nick, to the point of being a buzzkill. Stop trying so hard to be seen as scientific about a subject that cannot be clarified as such. It's far too amorphous. If it works, it works. Uh, I like the comments, but I also have an issue with it. Okay. The issue with it is that buzzes have to be killed. I want research done, all right? How can we have research done unless there's a culture which has like destroyed uh, lots of these or like a lot of the buzz, right? A lot of the religiosity about this whole thing, you know? When I look out at all those videos which are done by people who are like, you know, they've got like the, the glamour of like the black magician and all the rest of that shit and they're doing oh yeah I'm a you know a witch and a chaos magician all that kind of stuff and they, they're doing all this stuff to like really really stroke off the people who like to think that they're witches and they're magicians and they're sorcerers and they're yes yes I am yes I mean I saw this like um Facebook thing going around which had this uh, you know the four pictures of it's a ceremonial magician on top and one of them is uh, what society thinks we do and it's got a picture of like um, you know Dungeons and Dragons game players and one another one was like what Christians think I do and there's a picture of like sacrificing babies in Bohemian Grove and then there's another one of what I think I do and then you got your uh, fighting fantasy magician with lightning bolts coming out of his fingers, and then the final one, what I actually do, and it's just sitting down with a handful of books, all right? <laughs> but it's, but there's people who have that kind of like image in their minds that they really are like Gandalf. They really, 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 really fucking think they are Gandalf. And so anyone who's like interested in psi phenomena is associated, therefore, by default, with all these people who think they're fucking Gandalf which is, in my mind, sick. I, crit I look back at my past, right? My past, you know, 20 years ago, in all the pagan groups, listening to all this, like, jazzing off, right? About, oh, don't step outside the circle and bad karma and all this, like, oh, yeah, magic works and spells and da 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 And, uh, and I, I'm cringing, right? You, you know what, do you know what it means to cringe? You feel it. It's like an emotion. It's like your entire internal organs are saying, I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> right? And it's a shit feeling to have. And you got that feeling going on because there's all that shit thinking going on. So I'm stopping it. Okay, right now. This video, this video blog, you know, whatever. Since I started this six, seven years ago, and whenever, the, five years ago, whatever, two thousand one hundred and seventy videos ago. And then there's a statement: "If it works, it works." That's 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 not that's not a good phrase, man. Man, that's not a good phrase. It, you know, if a strange experience occurs, and a strange experience occurs, and you've had a certain strange experience with certain defining characteristics to it, yes. That's correct. That's linguistically correct. Okay, that's factually accurate. All right, but if it works, it works. I mean, how many people are going to see that and then start to think stuff which is in keeping with that kind of like, you know, I'm the fucking Gandalf thing. How many people are actually going to like latch onto that and think that yes, I, you know, I am Gandalf the Grey because that's what people are like. All right, people, humans, we're we're, we're animals. You know, people say with their cat and their dog, you know, he's so human. No, you're very mammalian. Uh, but you're worse. Okay? <laughs> you know, the cat and the dog has evolved to be the cat and the dog. We've got, like, language and imagery and culture and psychology and all this kind of, like, fucked up stuff which makes us worse. We can't carry on encouraging too much bullshit. Alright? We've got to do something about that and to stop all this, like, cringeworthy thinking. So, yes. 
We gotta go out and kill buzzes. You wanna go out and kill a buzz? Watch this stuff. Watch, watch this channel. Watch this fucking channel, right? Get obsessed with it. You know, go back to my old videos. Watch them. Find the arguments. You know, connect with that stuff. Ah, oh, I want to kill some more buzzes, and I want to do so with excitement, because buzzes need to be killed. All right, the idiomotor effect. We've got 160 years worth of history about that. It's, a, you know, it's an accepted scientific theory for how things like the, you know, the, the movements of the pendulum op operates, but there's still more questions as to why certain varieties of answers come out. There's questions, all right? Clear the thinking. Get excited about killing buzzes. Buzzes need to be killed. Yeah? And because I'm saying that isn't going to stop me from, you know, doing a whole full ceremonial magic thing because that's because that's the psychology or the, the way of enacting something in a meditative state to help to bring about the strange experience and then once you've had the strange experience you've had a strange experience with, with certain key characteristics okay which means you've had that experience then some you know some weird person will come out with all the like I am the fucking Gandalf thing and that's gonna like completely screw everyone off, off whack because they'll all be believing this because people want to believe the simplistic stuff. No one wants to go into stuff in great detail. This is the problem. All right. This is this is the problem. This is the big problem. This is the problem we got to fight. It's a war. Okay. There's a a moment in that. Uh, what was it? Uh, Transformers. Uh, was it the second Transformers movie? Um, was it uh, Rise of the Fallen or something like that? And you got uh, Optimus Prime talking to the kid. And uh, the kid says, but it's not my fight. And Optimus Prime says, it will be one day, or it will be soon, or something like that. The fight's here now. It's been here for years. It's been here since people started buying New Age books. It's been here since the days of the Lesser Key of Solomon was printed. It's been there before then. It's been there since before like my industry was created and people started doing tarot readings. All right, it's been there since the dawn of like humanity, you know, 6,000 years ago when we were all having our tea parties in Stonehenge. That's when the fight started. And it's now because we got social media. Now, right now, participate. Stop, you know, thinking like, you know, my God, you're kidding, but kill the buzzes. Bust some bubbles. I like, take people out of this like comfortable, you know, you know wishy-washy bullshit and help them to try and recognize that there is an importance here. Strange stuff happens, strange experiences happen, they are real because they are real experiences. Get used to that. Accept it. Okay? Accept that. And once you've accepted that, you can then think about what's next. What's next is the scientists have got to research it, but for the scientists to start researching it, all of this religious bollocks has got to be thrown out the window for the moment. Have your own religion or your own spirituality, go for it. But throw it away, you know, throw it away when you're talking about the experiences. Because that's, you know, unless you do that, everyone, everyone is going to look at you and think, oh, he's the kind of person who's kind of like, you know, grey row fucking gand off the grave, you staff with crystal on it, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on! This is the cause, right? This is the, this is the thing you've been waiting for all your life. This is the most important, most exciting time of your existence. To go out killing buzzes. Kill those buzzes, yes! But focus people's attention instead of upon the religiosity. Oh, this proves that ghosts exist. No, it doesn't. It proves that there's an experience which society and culture has defined as being a ghost experience. What does it mean? It means that we can have these experiences and that's exciting. That is the excitement. That's the new buzz. That's the buzz you've got to encourage. That's the buzz you've got to build up. That's the buzz you've got to focus people's attention on. All right, this is the time, all right, before like even more, you know, self-development gurus start like sending out like, the, the next version of the secrets or the next version of whatever the fuck it is. All right, because you you don't understand, okay? You're on YouTube. You may have a camera, okay? You're on Twitter, you're on Facebook, you're on Google+. Start the thinking. Participate in this stuff. Challenge shit. Get it going. Get it moving. 
and feel the excitement of the new buzz. All right.